Que pasa amigos, my name is Ash and today I am bringing with me a crap ton of gaming stories from around the universe that I want to share with you on today's episode of Random Gaming News. We start the video off with a major announcement that will be coming early next week. A reliable source has leaked the news that a massive PlayStation 5 event will be coming next Wednesday, June 3rd. However, Sony has admitted that, with these special circumstances, the specific day of the event may change, although that change would most likely be a minor shift of a day or two. So what can we expect from this reveal? Sony has already unveiled their new controller, logo, and specs of the console, so what do we have left to look forward to? Well, we haven't seen the actual console itself, and while I think seeing the console may be a bit of a reach, that would certainly be the perfect time to pull the curtains back on Sony's next-gen hardware. Fans have also been clamoring for a release date and price point, but I think it's safe to say we can rule both of these bits of information out of this digital event. While the price is most likely set in stone, the date of the console's release is certainly reliant upon the impact the coronavirus may be having on production and distribution. So what I believe we will be seeing come next week will be very similar to the digital conference the Xbox Series X held just a few weeks ago. Sony will show off a handful of games, a few exclusives, all while showcasing the power of their console. With the possibility of a much anticipated console reveal which would certainly be the way to begin or even end the conference. Moving on to our next story we move on to the battlefield with Call of Duty's Warzone. Season 3 is coming to a close for the battle royale and many are wondering what season 4 will have in store. With season 4 also dropping on June 3rd we will know soon enough however we are an impatient people. So what do we know so far? Starting with changes to the map it does not look like there will be many, if any at all, at least to start the season. However, a handful of maps will be coming to the multiplayer mode. And while new multiplayer maps may be an indication that they could be added to Warzone sometime later, most of the new multiplayer maps already exist within Warzone. While the map will largely be the same, at least in the beginning of the season, we do have confirmation of three new weapons being added into Warzone. First will be the once famous Black Ops featured assault rifle, the Galil. Another gun, the once loved submachine gun, the Vector which will fall under the name of the Fennec will be within Warzone come June 3rd. Finally, a new sniper rifle will be added midway through the season going by the name of the Rytec AMR. While these will be brand new weapons added to the game, Warzone has consistently shuffled the floor loot with each season, so expect the common assault rifles, SMGs, and the gold legendary weapons and attachments to be randomized come early next week. We also know the iconic Call of Duty character Captain Price will be a featured playable skin for this season. So so expect every player you see to be the legendary warfighter. And as usual, we will be seeing the Season 4 Battle Pass, packed full of camos, skins, emotes, and so much more. Look for all of this brand new content in Warzone next Wednesday, June 3rd. For the next story on this RGN Friday, we move to some ominous news that could sadden, frustrate, and even infuriate certain players. Just the other day, the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, gave a press release saying many games in the early stages of development could be delayed due to the circumstances surrounding coronavirus. This is truly bad news as somewhere down the road we may have a lengthy drought of video game releases. With many development studios keeping employees out of the office, the game creation process is surely being stunted in a multitude of ways. Not only will many games be potentially delayed, but we could see a significant reduction of content for titles that will be releasing in the next year or two. Developers could be cutting some of this content in order to ensure their game releases on time, with the potential of releasing the delayed content as post-launch DLC. One of the more horrifying consequences could be the significant delay of some of the gaming world's most anticipated titles. For example, a major title like Elder Scrolls 6, who is in early development, may see a delay of up to six months or even a full year, depending on the future impact of COVID-19. This will definitely be something we will be keeping a close eye on, as it could have a massive impact on the gaming industry for years to come. Our final story is, how good is is Minecraft Dungeons. I mean, wow. I was never an OG Minecraft fan, but this Diablo-like title is damn good. That, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Make sure you hit like, click, or tap that subscribe button to become the heart of this gaming channel, and be a part of the conversation in the comments below by telling everyone how you feel about any and all of today's gaming stories. And for more gaming analysis, news, reviews, and opinions, stay here on Ash Heart. And as always, thanks for watching.